not being a dummy here. It's the ultimate gift a quarterback could have, especially in a world where the quarterback is so isolated and put on a pedestal. Aaron Rodgers should have more titles, but the problem is the dramatic and dynamic you can't win with all the time. For Dak to understand that, that I have to toe this line. I need to play the game steady, Eddie, steady, Eddie, until I have to, until I have to be the dynamic and dramatic. What he just said is why Tom Brady has six Super Bowls and Aaron has one. We're joined by four-time Pro Bowler Antonio Cromartie. Hot today. Wow. You know, if I like the quote, oh, it's easy to oh, have some power oh, behind oh, it. You just, just brought it to life. Yeah, you put it out there. Brought it to life. I do my best. I mean, I do my Boom. best. I we should just go to the next topic. <laughs> you know what? Moving on. You know what it is? Going to on. Hell, that pro. Antonio, did you really, did, did Michael Irvin really just put him in the realm of Anna Rogers and uh -huh. Tom Brady? No, he put him only in the Tom Listen, Brady. Listen, this is where that Prescott is. That Prescott is in the in, is in the realm of Jason Campbell. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> that hurt, Skip. No, that hurt, That hurt. That hurt me. I, I he's actually, in. He, I, he's, I respected Jason he's Campbell, but he's in that. He's average. Yeah, hold on. No. He's talking about average. average. He tried to talk to him. Average. He finishes in the top sixteen. Right enough. Jason Campbell finished around that area right there, too. Every single year. And guess what? He had a different coordinator every single year. How many coordinators has Dak had and he still finishes around in that area? Hmm. Well, he's just on his second one now. Uh, it, my point exactly. Mm -hmm. My point exactly. <laughs> it me. Skip, ooh, skip. You Let cannot you bring oh. that in here. We have another one. Oh, ye who are blind will be made ah, to see. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. See. You want me to go or you want to go? I, I, I'm happy to go. Go ahead. I, 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 I got to read to this man, another blind man. Okay, <laughs> look, I, I want to hear this. What Michael Irvin said, and I love Michael Irvin because I covered him when he was a Dallas Cowboy, and he was the driving force of a team that should have won four straight, maybe five straight Super Bowls. Little issue between the owner and coach, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> but the point is, Michael Irvin was the greatest receiver leader I was ever around. I wasn't around you, but I'm going to put you in his ballpark, in his category. I'll put you in his same sentence. <laughs> but as a wide receiver leader of the team, he was unquestionably the man everybody turned to to show them the way. And again, he had his issues off the field. I get that. But I'm talking about on the field, in that foxhole, in New York and Washington and Philly in December and January. Michael Irvin was the man. It takes one to no one. And he concludes in this piece, it's like everyone's looking for reason not to believe in Dak Prescott instead of opening their eyes for all the reasons they should believe. You're just not seeing what should be hitting you right between your eyes. This man is unquestionably the leader of this football team. Yeah. He oozes charisma and leadership in ways. I, I know Jason Campbell. I'm sorry, he was, a, he was a nice player. In fact, he went right around Aaron Rodgers. Didn't he go a pick ahead or behind? It was right, right when ahead. Aaron. Oh, no. yeah. He went one pick ahead, yeah, right? Yeah, pick I thought ahead. so. So the point is... Where is he now? Well, Dak Prescott's on the way to multiple Super Bowls. That's where he is because he is. Yeah, a, they get huh? tickets. Everybody is, get two everybody tickets. Everybody get two tickets. tickets. Yeah, <laughs> he is the clutch closer of, the, of a football team that's on the verge of being not good but great. <laughs> and this man has already shown you. All he does is win a bunch of games because he's won the most games as a starting quarterback over the last three years this side of Tom Brady. So Michael's saying it's it's not about. Aaron Rodgers being the diva that he is because he is the drama king. He is the LeBron James of the National Football League. So Aaron, the transcendent, the greatest thrower of the football ever, he becomes a distraction. He undercuts his football team's ability to unite and ignite and go win multiple Super Bowls because he only won one. And it was about 10 years ago. Where is he now? He's struggling. He's on thin ice up on the frozen tundra. We just talked about it. We did. Tom Brady is the heart and soul of the New England Patriots. He's the unquestioned leader, and he's steady, Eddie, steady, Eddie, through three quarters, and you say, oh, he's just mediocre. He's average. And then when the money's on the table, who closes for the Patriots the way nobody's ever closed, especially in Super Bowls? It's Tom Brady. Yeah, everybody else done put the money up on the table because mm -hmm. he done took the money off the table oh, in the first three okay. quarters. So what did Dak Prescott do last year? 
he closed like crazy. I got six games. I, I dare you to go look at, and some of them they didn't close because the field goal kicker clanked one in Washington off the left upright. But Detroit at Washington, at Eagles, at Falcons, Eagles again, then Seattle in the playoffs. Even the Rams, if, if he'd gotten the ball back, he would have closed he that game. He did have the ball. Okay. Well, fell. Jared Goff ran for 19 yards on third and 10. You know what's Gil Bayless? Jenny said that Dak Prescott overrated or underrated. Mm -hmm. What gets overrated is that he's very good. That's what's overrated. Mm -hmm. And you need to stop this. And Michael Irvin needs to stop this also, mm -hmm. this nonsense. <laughs> Y'all too cowboy. If I was Just spitting truth. Yeah, I was spitting no what's truth. Spitting yep. truth? What's spitting truth? What's truth? Accuracy. First of all, can we stop? Let me ask you a question. Joe Montana, was Joe Montana charismatic? No, not at he all. He won four Super Bowl, three, you know, four and those Super Bowl, three times Super Bowl MVP. Mm -hmm. So, so how much does charisma have to do with it, Skip? Okay, but they had other leaders on the football team. Who was the driving force of the teams? Ronnie Lott. So, so that's, Ronnie Lott. That's yeah. why Michael said it's. I don't think it's rare that yeah, the leader is the quarterback. That's, that's my point. True. You no, don't necessarily no, have to have the quarterback mm. the lead to be great. Was Joe a clutch closer? Yeah. 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 Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Was, are you? Oh, so now you can bring that. Ooh. Now you can bring that to Joe Montana. Uh, you ought to stop. You know what's given. I just told you he's yeah. Brady-esque. And I will Brady stand by that where? and you will eat that. No, I will. Well, eat what? Yeah. Yeah, where, where, is, where is it? Where is he Brady-esque at? Every, it's how he plays yeah. the game. He's a, he, steady Eddie, steady Eddie. He can't look Close anybody it. off. He can't look anybody off. Yes, he has he a one read, yes. Okay, he finally got a number one receiver he clicked with halfway through. He goes seven and one down the stretch. Throw your bogus stat at me. <laughs> throw, throw it. <laughs> You're <laughs> lame, <laughs> weak. He, his completion percentage dropped from for that one. 42 to 40%. Yeah. Oh, you got me. It's should game be, over. I got one to throw at you. Okay, what's up? what you got? With? Try this one. Okay, in okay. weeks one through nine, Dak Prescott was tied for 28th in deep pass touchdowns. Yes. Tied for 28th. Yes. From week 10 on, including the postseason, as he got more and more comfortable with Amari Cooper, <laughs> Dak was tied for fourth in the NFL in deep pass touchdowns. He went from 28th, week one through nine, to fourth, 10 on. It, oh, uh, oh, he finally got a guy he could trust. What, he, hold on. Where did he go to? Where, where huh. did he finish at? Huh. Where did he finish? He, finished, he went from 28th to 12th. Fourth. He went from 28th to fourth. Yeah. And still on the through for 22 touchdowns. Huh. Where did huh. he do that? Did they well, win a playoff game? Did they have a chance? Are, are you just worried about winning a playoff game? Mm. Well, no, I'm worried about winning a Super Bowl. Well, they took a step. Ain't gonna happen. And, and remember, it. he he went seven and one. Then he goes eight and one against Seattle. So he goes eight and two with Amari Cooper. And then he got an off season to really click with Amari Cooper. You better watch out because, as Michael said, he's ready to take off. Okay, he's ready. Uh, okay. Can I, can I read something for you? You got your stat. Go ahead. Go Did ahead. you know even after getting Amari Cooper, that Zeke. Led the Cowboys in receptions per game. Because remember, he missed the last game of the season, and he finished with one fewer catch than Amari Cooper. So in other words, even when he got Amari Cooper, he was dinking and down. He wasn't dinking and down. I told you over the Check last down. eight. Wait, 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 wait. Last eight games, he was fifth in the league in distance of completion. Is that dinking and dacking? No, he had Amari. Who caught all the big balls over that stretch? He caught slants and then turned them into a big play. Thank you. That ain't that work. That's not that that Duncan. Oh, wait, is that against the rules? That's against the rules. Oh, wait, 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 you said it. That you would have changed. Wait, you say, oh, well, that doesn't count. No, no, no. Do they call those back? No, 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 that Zeke Elliott had 52 catches mm -hmm. in eight games? Well, what, did I, wait, 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 wait. what did I tell you yesterday? Over the first eight with no Amari Cooper, he was the leading target receiver. Yeah, he was the leading okay, target. Even so all you've got, Dak Prescott's trying to survive. They go three and five. Was, was it, wait a second. Was Zeke healthy the first eight games? Yes. Was he happy? Yes. Yeah, he was healthy. Was he in Cabo? No, he was in Dallas, Texas, right. getting ready to play football games. They went three and five because Dak had nobody to throw to except his running back. And I'm surprised they were Skip, even three and Skip, five. When you do, when you have a running back like Zeke, and then they stack the line of scrimmage, they say, we're going to take Zeke away. We're not going to let, because we don't believe your quarterback can beat us throwing the football. Mm. And so, look, Skip, as long as you got Zeke back there, he can take that eighth guy out of the box, mm -hmm. and now you can get single high coverage mm -hmm. if you bring that eighth guy down in okay. the box. Okay, so Jason Campbell, as you call Dak Prescott, <laughs> against the defending Super Bowl champ Eagles, twice down the stretch, home and away, two fourth quarters and one overtime, threw for a grand total of 343 yards, 
four touchdowns and no interceptions against the Eagles. How did he do that? You say he can't throw. Okay. Huh. Okay. Huh. Uh, okay. How about but he he's do? wait a second. He's overrated. I saw, really? I, did, Jason did you see him on, hold on. Did you see him on that? I think it was a Thursday night or Monday night game when they played the Tennessee Titans. I, well, it was a debacle. I told you the next day. Oh, it was a on, nightmare. I just, want to make, I just want to make sure I'm correct. Wait, who won the division? Hold on, tell me. Okay, I, I will get to that. Just answer this question. Huh. Did Dak Prescott play? Yes. Did Zeke oh, play? I, I did Zeke good, play? I know good well Dak Prescott. Huh. Not Brady-esque. Wait. Not old Brady. Well, Tom Not Brady, every once in a while, he loses a football game. He had a couple of nightmares. He had one at Detroit. He had one at Jacksonville. Oh, did he? You hear it, did he? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're admitting it. That's good. Oh. You know what? News flash, he's mortal. No. He is the <laughs> greatest me. mortal no, ever. You told me, no, he no. is the greatest no, mortal no, ever. No, that yeah. ain't what you told me, because yeah. what I tried to tell you, yeah. he did he outgunned Mahomes in the fourth quarter and over. Zeke is a driving force of the yeah. Cowboys. They go as far as he takes them. That's they true. went three and five without Amari Cooper. And then what happened? Seven and one happened. Woo! Huh. You ought to stop. I think it's game over. You Thank you, Michael Irvin. Oh, I just no, died and no. went to cowboy heaven. <laughs> Thank you, Michael Irvin. Those quotes were needed. You and Michael are both delusional. Antonio, good stuff. Thank you for being Thank here you. today. Yeah, thanks um, a lot. We're going to talk about Kyler Murray next. Is he about to take hey, over the NFL? We'll discuss next. <laughs>